Hi friends, I am Anuradha and I welcome you to the Locus Learning series on YouTube. So far we have done four parts in our series which is setting up Locust on Windows, creating development environment and the third was creating your first, uh, first Locus script and in the last part, part four, we talked about an example where we sent get requests through Locus script and in this example, we'll be sending post request using Locust. So let's proceed. So I am on my PyCharm project where I intend to create an example for posting data. Okay. And again, the sample page which we have chosen is newtools.demo.com. And what we'll be doing here is we'll be logging into this web page with the user created. Uh, with the help of register page and I have created five users like qamile1 at gmail.com till qamile5 at gmail.com and mind it these are just dummy users and they do not have any really existing gmail account so just we have to pro while registering we have to provide username and password which we need to have okay and what what I have also done we have I have enabled uh, Chrome developer tool to see how the post request is going okay and you can do or uh, you can enable developer tool with the help of setting more tools developer tool and you need to go to network tab make sure everything is clear on this and then also make sure your your recording button is enabled so let me log in into this site okay qa mile is a password which i have used and i'm doing sign in and we will wait for the login page to come up and so here we are logged in okay and let's see what we actually sent in the request and the main request is login.php and um, if I go over here, it says um, the requested URL is this and the method is post and what we are posting is this. Okay. And so now what we'll be doing, we'll be doing same in our script. So just let's copy this URL and let's go to PyCharm project and let's create one script uh, Python file locust underscore login underscore new tool okay and i'll also write post to indicate that it is an example for post data and i'm on this okay i'll just copy i'll just paste what i copied okay so this is the url i'll also copy my form data which i'm posting okay so let's go back to pycharm and also do this all right so i can comment out either this way or i can comment out either for multi-line i can come in in this way okay so this is our requested url and this is our post data now what i'll do first i will do import from locust of course http locust class instance and then I'll um, also import task set and I'll import task okay so here we are and what we have to do quickly we have to create class user behavior I will also create class user now what next yeah now what next i have to call task underscore set uh, no not in this way first i have to instantiate this http locust right and i have to make this as a child class of task set then i only i can use attributes right so task underscore set is equal to user behavior and what else I can say min weight equal to 10,000 max weight all oh, that is too much weight right for an example at least so 10,000 okay all good 
or what else I can provide I can provide host is equal to what is my host over here is new tools demo.com so let me give host as well all good and now I'm here on task and in my task I have to give something okay so let me define task at task and let me define the name login underscore post and bracket which will pass instance self itself of task set itself and then what I have to give I have to give my actual request right and what I'll do I'll just pass self dot client class which is an attribute of uh, HTTP locust class itself and I explained it in my last series also self dot client and the method which we are using is post over here and now what we are posting over here we are doing post on this URL right so we have already defined post and only thing which we need to pass over here is this appended URL and here here we need to pass data in the form of a dictionary right which is which is key value pair for this data so let's define a dictionary over here and let's just paste this data over here okay what else I have to define them as key value pairs so I'll put them under quotes separated by comma I'm not sure what number is this but I'll just put whatever is in the form data okay all good okay so here I'm ready and um, uh, I hope my request is ready and I'm ready to post data let me run this test and we'll see what next okay for running the request I'll go to CD locust underscore test directory where my script is there locust minus F and my script name now oh, yes this is the script let's see if it's all good okay now let me run my locus instance and let me run one user all right this so statistics has come and it shows that there is one login request with particular response time data which we'll explain in our later part of the series so just let's see we are able to successfully post data right but isn't it weird that we are not able to see what is a response we could have verified it better so in our next part what we will do we will see the way we can look at the response and we will also generate our risk or we will also generate a log file for our, our running test so you just try posting and logging in at your end and see how post request works